ADB commands on your system. So, and how you can connect your Android device. If you are trying to use ADB or developer tools, it will simple and easy. First of all, you will have to install tools on your system. I am using Linux. So in Linux, you can simply use commands. For example, to install ADB tools, you can use this command. And now you just need to hit enter and you will have to type password. And this process will take only a few minutes to complete. And to install Android tools, you need to use fast boot command. Hit enter, and it is already installed. Now you can use ADB devices to view devices. Currently, you cannot see any device, but now you will have to connect your device or your Android device from using a USB cable. I have already connected, so let me show you now. If I go to settings page on my Android device, scroll down and you will have to enable developer tools to go to about phone and tape build number seven times. And you can see this message, this operation is not required as you are already in developer mode. So now if I go to additional settings, I am using Oppo device here. Scroll down and you can see this developer options. Now I need to enter this code AESC. I have already enabled OEM unlock and now you can see this USB debugging option. Now if Okay, let's disconnect this device and connect it again. And now you can see on the screen allow USB debugging option. So if I tap allow, and now if I use this ADB devices command, I can see my connected device. To view ADB version, you can use ADB version command. And so this is the current version installed on my system. And you can also view this location. To navigate to this directory, you can use cd command and use control plus shift plus v to paste. And now you can see we are inside this command. And we can use this again. Now, if you want to boot your uh, phone into bootloader, you can use this command. Let me show you. ADB reboot bootloader. And now my device has restarted. It will work. If this method doesn't work for you, uh, you will have to install some drivers, especially on Windows, you will have to install some additional drivers. For example, you can use this command fastboot oem unlock and if you see this message waiting for any device, you will have to install an additional driver on your system, otherwise you won't be able to use this command. Now, if you want to learn more about ADB commands, Android Central has published this beginner's guide, 10 basic Android terminal commands you should know. So you can see we have different commands. You can use the ADB devices command that we used earlier. So we have this option, ADB devices. This is the first command to view your devices. Then we have some other devices, ADB push command. So with this command, you can move files to Android device programmatically. 
then we also have this adb pull command and you can read this description if adb push send files to your android device it stands the reason the adb pull command would pull them out then we have adb root command so if you want to reboot your device sorry reboot command so it will just reboot your device then we have this adb reboot bootloader com command so you can do a reboot bootloader using this command so the process is simple you just need to paste this command and hit enter and it will reboot your device and then we have this fast boot device command we also have fast boot unlock command to unlock your oem and then we have adb install command so if you want to install something such apk file you can use this command the ninth command is adb sideload command and ots over the air update is downloaded by your phone as a zip file so you can download that zip file manually and install it without having to wait for your phone to have the update push to it and then we have this final command adb share command 